everyone, this is Brandy. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I felt like I kind of ran out of topics to go over with you guys, but I'm back. I have a full list of topics to teach you all. And yeah, so right now we're going to learn about taking away haziness from an image. Uh, this image is very, very hazy. Uh, I think the number one reason why it's hazy is because I was shooting a, a backlit image, and so a lot of the light you know, kind of leaked. And also, it's a raw image, and a lot of raw images come out hazy anyways because it's lacking in contrast uh, versus a JPEG, which, you know, has plenty of contrast in it. So we're going to turn this image from this into this right here. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your background layer by clicking Control J on your keyboard. And now what I want to do to this layer is I want to use smart filters on it. So I'm going to go to filter, convert for smart filters. Okay, so now we're going to actually open this image in Adobe Camera Raw. So I'm going to go to filter, and we're going to go down to camera raw filter. Okay, so the reason why I opened this in Adobe Camera Raw is because I want to take away all of the contrast from this image, every little bit of contrast that it has, at least. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to drag the contrast bar all the way down. And the reason why I do this is since I'll be adding contrast back into the image, I found that, you know, lowering the contrast completely keeps me from, you know, putting a little too much, you know, contrast in it. It gives me more, you know, wiggle room in there. So I'm going to click OK. OK, there we go. And now we're going to go over here to Curves. Um, if you don't have this adjustment area right here, you can go here, and then you can select Curves. So what we want to do is we want to make like an S type shape using this line. So to do that, you click in the middle of the line. And you're going to click about right here and start dragging it down to add in some contrast. Now you can see the before and after. And now I just want to add a tad bit more brightness into this image. So I'm going to go to Levels, in the slider on the far right, I'm just going to slightly drag it over. And that's all there is to it. It's very, very easy. So again, what we did is we took all the contrast out of the image using the Adobe Camera Raw. We added a curves adjustment and we made the S shape to add the contrast back in. And then we went to levels to brighten the image a tad. So that's it guys. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe today. Thanks guys, bye.